And this is how you make a Dutch baby. So easy. It's four ingredients. You have three quarters cup of milk. We're using skim milk, but you can use any milk you like. We have three quarter cups of flour. We have three eggs and four tablespoons of butter. That's it. That's how you make a Dutch baby. That's what you need to make a Dutch baby. Step one is to preheat the oven to 425. Step two, put the four tablespoons of butter in your Dutch baby pan. You can use a cast iron skillet, any pan that can go in the oven that has handles that won't melt. So this is the pan that we're using. So once the oven is preheated, I'm gonna pop this in the oven to melt the butter. And you're gonna start making your batter. To make the batter, you're gonna use a blender, a food processor, if you have one that's large enough, or a bowl and a stick blender. The point is you need to keep it moving the whole time. And the first step is you're gonna add your three eggs, you're gonna turn your blender on, and while the machine is still running, never turn it off. You're gonna pour in the milk, and you're gonna let that blend, and then you're slowly gonna add the flour one tablespoon at a time, you put the tablespoon in, let it blend a little bit, put another tablespoon in, let it blend a little bit. So you're gonna gradually add the flour. Once you have all the flour added, then you're gonna let it continue blending for 30 seconds. And that's it. The batter is so super easy to make. This is one of the easiest things to make. Turn off your blender. And this is your batter. It's very liquidy. Use a glove, because this is hot. So the butter is completely melted. And now you're gonna pour the batter right into the pan, just like this. And you're gonna put it right back into the oven. And while your Dutch baby is cooking for 20 to 25 minutes, chop up your toppings. We're doing strawberries because yesterday at the produce market, these containers were 99 cents. That's a steal. Voila, this is the Dutch baby. I just took it out of the oven. It was in there for 23 minutes. And these big, huge bubbles will deflate a bit as it cools down. And now we're gonna cut it up. And you could serve this with powdered sugar and lemon juice. You could put syrup on it. You could put strawberries, bananas. We like it, depending on who you ask, different ways. So I'm gonna serve it up the different ways that we eat it and I will show you when it's ready. Okay, so I just took it out of the pan and now we're gonna cut it up and we're gonna make it all pretty and dress it up with our toppings and get it served. And voila, breakfast is served. This piece has diced strawberries, bananas, a little powdered sugar, and a drizzle of maple syrup. And this one has just powdered sugar and strawberries. No syrup, nothing else added to it. She likes it just like that. This one has a little powdered sugar, strawberries, and a squirt of lemon juice. I find the super buttery Dutch baby is so delicious with a little bit of lemon and the sweetness from the sugar. You can top it however you like. Remember, there's no sugar in the actual Dutch baby, so your toppings are what's gonna add the sweetness. Um, and some people put blueberries in it or on it. Some people put chocolate chips. Whatever you like is how you're gonna top your Dutch baby. Um, but again, this is so easy to make, so easy to serve up, and you can easily, easily double the recipe and just make sure you have a four and a half quart to five quart pan, or you can even use a wok. As long as your wok has metal handles and it can go in the oven, you can use your wok if you have one to do this. Um, or you can just make two. If you have two pans, you can use your cast iron skillet and you can use a regular pan like I did. No matter what, this is going to be a delicious breakfast. So I really hope you try it. Guys, this is so good. That Dutch baby is like eggy, but yet fluffy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And while the middle is eggy and fluffy, you're going to get some bites, like the edge right here that is a little crispy. That is delicious, too. Mmm. That is so good. Look at that. You see that? Look at that. 
so yummy. I really hope you try this Dutch baby. It's so easy to make and it's so delicious. Mm. Thanks for watching.